What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video in our audio series here. You no, know, it's been a few weeks since we had one. So today we're gonna be talking about the soft clipper. So what is the soft clipper? It's a form of limiter that you can apply either to your clips or to your whole track. And real quick, here's gonna be an example. Might get a little loud. So just be careful if you got the headphones on. Right here's a sample using a standard limiter. You can hear it just sounds real harsh. It cuts it right off at that limit level that I set. Now, if I change it up and put on the soft limiter here, I'm gonna set it to the same level, but you're gonna hear it kind of eases into that limiter. It's not as harsh sounding. So as we get into checking out this effect here, just a few things to keep in mind. You can apply it to a clip or you can apply it to the whole track. Just depends on what you wanna do and how you wanna use it. So let's jump over to Resolve. We're gonna check out all the knobs and buttons, see how this effect works and see if it's something that you might be able to use in some of your videos. So taking a look at the edit tab here, like I mentioned, you can drop this effect onto a clip right here in your edit tab if you'd like. So real quick, how do you add it onto a clip here in the edit tab? Well, you wanna come on up to your effects library. Go ahead, open that up. You wanna come down to your Fairlight audio effects. And then you wanna come down here, we have soft clipper. And all you have to do is click on it, drag it on over and drop it on your clip. Boom, there's the effect on your clip. But for me, the way I would normally use this is to jump over into Fairlight. So let's jump into Fairlight. I'll show you how to put it on the track. And then we're gonna go over all the little buttons and dials in here and tell you what they do. So to jump over into the Fairlight page, you wanna come down and click on these little musical icon notes down at the bottom of your screen here. I'll jump you over into Fairlight. So I've already got my clip in the timeline, my little sample here that you'll hear in a minute. But first thing we wanna do is add this effect onto our track, because in this case, I wanna do it on a track level, not on a clip level. So you wanna come on up and open your mixer. You should click on your mixer right here, and that should open your mixer right down here. Next, you wanna look for your effects section, which is right here. And if you don't see that, come on up to these three little dots. You can click on there and make sure you see effects checked on right here. So next, go ahead and click on the plus icon. You wanna come down to dynamics. Fairlight and Soft Clipper. So once you open up the Soft Clipper, this is what the window looks like. So let's take a second, run over this window and just explain what everything is here. So along the top, we have our Reset All button and we've got our Lock Plugin Window and Preset Manager, just like all of our other effects. We have an area here to add a preset if you'd like to. Right here are the presets that you've added and there are a few default ones here that we'll try out so you can hear the difference. These two buttons allow you to cycle through your presets. You have the A and B buttons that allow you to set settings on A, and then you can set different settings on B, and it allows you to toggle back and forth. I have a video on that, link above, if you wanna go check that out. Next down here, you have your toggle switch that turns the effect on and off. Moving down a little bit, we've got our input meters right here. That's gonna show you your levels of the audio signal coming into the effect. In the center here, we have a little graph that shows you where your limiter is. You can see right now it's at zero dB. And you can see here the curve coming up, it's not a hard limiter, it actually eases into the limiter. So that's what's gonna kinda soften that limiter for us a little bit. And you'll see what that sounds like and the differences between a hard limiter and this soft limiter here. And this is what they mean by soft, is just that it eases into the limiter. You're gonna hear that in a second here. Over here we have reduction, so how much is the effect reducing our audio, you know, once it hits that limiter, how much is it getting reduced? And then we've got our output level meter that's gonna tell you what kind of levels you got coming out of the effect. Below that, you have your threshold. Now this is gonna be at what point do you wanna set your limiter to? Now you see we can go all the way up to plus 18 dB, which is actually gonna boost your clip a little bit, boost the audio of it. Or you can drop it down and you can see the limiter here, the limit of it is actually coming lower and lower and lower. And you can set that at whatever level you'd like. So threshold controls the point at which the limiter is activated. Now I'm gonna drop this down a little so we can see the next one here, which is shape. So shape affects the character of our effect here. So right now it's a soft clipper. We have it all the way soft and it eases into that limiter. Now, if we turn it all the way hard, you can see it comes up and as soon as it hits that limiter, it gets cut off. Our audio is gonna get cut right off and it's gonna be harsher sounding than if we make this a soft limiter. And if you're gonna use the hard limiter, well, you could just use the regular limiter too, then what's the point, right? So you want it to be soft, so it kind of eases into that limiter. And lastly here, you have your output level. Now this is gonna boost your output levels, which we'll see on our meter right here, because sometimes when you apply effects, as we've seen with some of our other effects as well, you're gonna lose a little bit of your levels. So you may need to boost it up a little bit and uh, just bring everything back up to where you want it. So that's an overview of the effect. Now let's get into how does this thing work and what does it sound like? So let's play through the clip. I'm gonna leave the soft limiter on. It's got the default settings. I'm gonna double click my reset icon here and let's just see what we get in our effect here. See if it's actually doing anything yet. 
Here's our sample test of the soft clipper. So we can see that we're getting no reduction. So let's drop this guy down here so that we're actually uh, using the limiter and it's getting applied on this effect. Here's our sample test of the soft clipper, which is essentially a different form of limiter that's gonna help your clips ease into the limiter. As Now one thing you will notice, and you should be able to hear it now, is that once it hits that limiter, you do hear a little bit of distortion, right? So you can see we're only reducing it a little bit, but the limiter is doing what we want it to do. It's kind of easing in there. Now I'm gonna go back and forth between a hard limiter, which is this right here. You know, it's got that sharp uh, cutoff right there at our limit and the soft, so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my clip here. We're gonna loop this so we can uh, hear it play back to back. So let's start with the soft one and then we're gonna change it to the hard limiter. Clipper, which is essentially a different form of limiter that's gonna help your clips ease into the limiter as opposed to a hard stop once it hits the limiter. Here's our sample test of the soft clipper, which is here's our sample test of the- So I'm hoping you guys can hear that when we use the hard shape for the limiter, that it kicks in and it, it, I mean, it just comes in very abruptly and hard. Whereas when we make that shape soft, it kind of eases into it a little bit more. Now you notice we do get a little distortion and that's gonna happen when I'm trying to squash down my audio here. Obviously this is not the best way to use it. Maybe I would lower my levels, you know, on my clip first. And maybe, you know, for this soft clipper, I might wanna bring it up closer to, you know, zero dB or whatever level that, uh, you know, I'm gonna boost my overall level to, you know, say for exporting to YouTube or something like that. So that way it's not just a hard cut. So that's how the soft clipper here works in a nutshell. Now let's just take a look at my output levels here because I think I might wanna reduce them just a little bit uh, as it goes through this clip and comes out. So uh, let's play through this and just adjust our output levels here. Here's our sample test of the soft clipper, which is essentially a different form of limiter. That's so I adjusted them. I like them usually between minus 15 and maybe just over minus 10 uh, dB a little bit. So re reduced it a little bit there and I think that works out pretty well. So if you're looking to limit that audio a little bit, but you don't want the hard stop of a typical limiter, you can go ahead and try out this soft clipper and kind of ease into that limit that you're trying to set for your clips. So we've got a few more effects to go through in our audio effects series here. Then we're gonna have the whole series done. All the effects you want to know about for your audio here in DaVinci Resolve, got a video on all of them for you. So thank you guys for watching. If you found this video a little helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.